Village Town City Farm. Village Town City Farm. Village Town City Farm. Village Town City Farm. Town City Village Farm. Hello, welcome to ZigZag. In this series, we're going to be looking at four different kinds of settlement and the relationship between them. The village of Hundon in Suffolk, the city of Leeds, the town of Porthmadog in Wales, and Moreland's Farm in Devon. In each location, we've got a ZigZag reporter, and they're going to be filing a story about their particular patch. First, Laura at Moreland's Farm. is the busiest place in the house, especially in the mornings. There are five of us living on the farm. My mum and dad, my brother William, and my little sister, Emily. Moreland's farm is 1,100 feet above sea level on Dartmoor in Devon. two months ago and every morning before I go to school I come out and feed them. That one's Rory and that one's Benji. My favourite's Benji because he's really sweet. Our main produce on the farm is sheep and because the sheep are spread over a wide area we need to have sheepdogs to help gather them in. We've got four on the farm. There's Jip, Belle, and Gail, and Ben, who hasn't been very well, but he's getting better. After breakfast, Dad gets on with his work and me and William set off for school. My school is Princetown Primary in Princetown, which is about three to four miles away. Each morning, I walk from my house down the lane to the bridge where the school bus picks up me and William. The bus comes to pick us up at half past eight. We then pick up Sam and Harry, who live on the next farm, which is about two miles away. We get to school by 10 to 9. Sometimes in the winter, when there's lots of snow, the minibus isn't able to come and get us. Last February, I had three days off school. There are 113 children in our school, and they come from a 10-mile radius. We don't travel the furthest, but we do live in one of the most isolated areas. <laughs> Living on Moreland's farm can have its drawbacks. All my friends live so far away, and although I have my brother William and little sister Emily to play with, it can get very lonely sometimes. So living on a farm can be lonely and isolated. You have to travel a long way to go to school or see your friends. What about living in a village? Our reporter in the village of Hundon in Suffolk is James.
James Shepstone, London, Suffolk. Sleepy, quiet. These are the words to describe this village. London is a small village in Suffolk. It has a population of some 1,200 people. That seems a lot, doesn't it? Let's go and find some of them. Sometimes you can walk around the village for ages without seeing anybody. So where has everybody gone? This is Hundred Cricket Club. There's always somebody playing here in the summer, but where is everybody today? This is All Saints Church. It's in the centre of the village. I wonder if everybody's in there. So where have all the people gone? I wish I knew, James. I wish I knew. Try the village hall. OK. This is the village hall. Lots of activities go on here in a day. I wonder if there's anyone inside. Oh, hello, Mr Mitchell. Hello. Where is everybody? I don't know. They're, they're... They're probably all down the pub today. OK, thanks. Like the church and the village hall, the local pub is at the heart of the village's social life. Where is everybody? I don't know where they are. OK. And it's like lots of villages in Suffolk today, it's where people live, but very few work and go to school. Because of this, it can be very quiet during the day. But after school and work, the village comes back to life again. A good thing about living in London is friends are never far away. My friend Jane just lives next door. Do come to the park? Yeah, sure. OK. We usually meet some of our other friends in the park. What do they think about Hundon? Like well, I think the park's well designed. And what do you like? Well, there's lots of playing fields and I live near, quite near my friends. Well, I like there's not much cars coming down the road, which means you can go out um, and wander around on your own. There's plenty of places to play. There's a park and you can make up tons of games and I live quite near my friends. Games, what don't you like? Well, I th it's because we're quite far away from big towns and since there's not any shop there, it means we can't buy food and things. Well, it's most the same room not having a shop because we can't buy sweets f from anywhere in the village. What don't do you like, Jane? I don't like not having a shop because you really need one. Besides not having a village shop, Hundred seems to be perfect, and I agree. So do we! Hundon is a small, quiet village. There's no one around during the day. People have to leave the village to go to school and go to work. And there's no shop. If you want to buy food, you have to go to a nearby town. Let's go to a town in Wales now. Jamie is our reporter in Porthmadog. And this is Portmadog. Portmadog is a small town on the North Wales coast, which is near the beaches of the Llyn Peninsula and the mountains of Snowdonia National Park. It has a population of about 5,000 people, which rises in the summer when the town fills up with thousands of visitors and tourists. This is my house. It's in a part of Portmadog called the Garth. Come on, let's go inside.
My house is an upside down house. The lounge is upstairs and all the bedrooms are downstairs. This is my bedroom. That's my bed. That's my desk. I think I got a lot of homework this week. And there are my football posters. I support Manchester City. They're the best team in the world. This is Tessa's room, my sister. Let's go and see if she's in. Out! Sisters. My school is in the town centre. It usually takes about 10 minutes to walk. Most days, I walk with my sister, Tess. This is my school, a school of Owen. About 200 children come here every day. Some from Puff My Dog and some from villages nearby. This is my classroom. My class is in there with my teacher, Mr. Roberts. William Alexander Maddox. Os gwrs mae o'n dyrru di enw yn dydy i Bordd Maddox ac hefyd i dre Maddox. Am be oedd o'n enw o'g iawn? Jonathan. Am at a ledyr cob. Most people in Bordd Maddox speak Welsh. That means all of my lessons in the Welsh language. Jamie Dawes. Tiddy mewn. See you later. Because of its location, Port Maddox is like a magnet for people, especially in the summer. People from all over Britain come to Port Maddox. I wonder why they come here. I've come to Port Maddox because I love the beaches and I love the seaside. I love the boats in the harbour. I love the scenery and I love the mountains. I've come from Australia to look at the scenery and it is great. It's obvious that the people who visit the town like it, but what do the people from Porth Maddox think? What I like about Porth Maddox is it's always busy and there's lots of people here. What I don't like about Porth Maddox is that there's too many fish and chip shops. There's around six of them and they're all in the same place. I don't like, like Porth Maddox because there's too, too much traffic here and you have to wait half an hour to cross the road. What I do like about Porth Maddox is the other beach is so near and you don't have to travel so much to get there in the summer. Hey! I'm really lucky living in Port Vador because not so many people can get to the beach in 10 minutes, can they? There are lots of beautiful beaches which attract tourists. Most local people in Porth Maddox speak Welsh and use the language every day. Let's go to England now, to the city of Leeds, and our reporter, Holly. City in the north of England. Some 700,000 people live here and the city provides work for over 350,000 people. I'm standing on top of the Leeds Metropolitan University building. From here I can see all over the city. But although we think of Leeds as one big city, it is really a collection of areas and districts. There's the city centre, the inner city and the suburbs. Headingley, where I live, is about two miles from the city centre in that direction. Headingley is a suburb of Leeds. A suburb is a district or area of a city where lots of people live. This is my street, Grove Lane. 
it's really busy. And this is my house number 32. This is my mum and my dad, my brother Joe, my sister Martha and my baby sister Annie. I'm drawing a map of my route to school. My school is Brudenell Primary School. It's about one mile away. Usually mum and dad take us in the car, but sometimes we walk. I like to walk because we get to see more. Today I've decided to take some photographs of the things I pass along my way to school. There's the library. There's the church in the middle of Headingley. There's the bank where Mum and Dad get their money. This is my friend Navjeet's house. Sometimes I call for her on the way to school. Hi. Hi, come on, we better go. It's nice to be able to walk with friends to school. are some of my classmates, and today they're doing mental maps of the landmarks of the city. Yeah. This is a Leeds Metropolitan University. Metropolitan. The city centre has even bigger landmarks than Headingley. There's the train station. and the bus station. The town hall. And the river air that runs through the centre of the city. It's great fun. Why don't you do one of where you live? There are teacher's notes for this series available to all viewers. If you'd like details, the number to ring is 0181 746 11111.